How's it going, everyone? Ikebana Zero here, and I'm back with another Ruby reaction. Uh, <clears throat> you may be noticing that my voice is a little weird, and it's because I've been a little sick for the past few days. So I'm gonna keep the talking a little bit to a minimum this time, but I really, really wanted to do a reaction today. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna kick it off today with chapters six and seven. So without further ado, let's get into the episode. <laughs> I just like watching the opening. Just like that line, bloody evolution. Ooh, swamp life noises. Hey Yang. Is anyone out there? Maybe Hello? not. Hello. I'm getting bored here. Oh, the is drudgery. Ruby, is that you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fight time. Ah. Bow. Sure you can. Happen to have seen a girl in a red hood, would you? You could just say no. <laughs> Jeez, you two couldn't hit the broadside of a. B huh? You. Mm -hmm. oh. You monster! Oh shit! It's starting. Holy shit! <laughs> She must really love her hair. What? You want some too? Oh, you want some. Bye bye. Wow. I guess they're a I team now. Yeah. Remember your training wise. Head up, shoulders back, right foot forward. Not that forward. <laughs> Slow your breathing. Wait for the right time to strike. And now. <laughs> That's what you get for waiting too long. Hey, watch it. Excuse me. You attacked out of turn. I could have killed you. You'll have to try a lot harder than that. <laughs> Gonna have to learn to fight as a team, eh? We have to go. Oh. What was that? That should have been easy. Well, perhaps if you had exercised even the slightest amount of caution with the placement of your strikes, I wouldn't have set the forest on fire. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just surprised that someone that talks so much would communicate so little during an encounter. <laughs> well, I'm sorry that you need my help to win a fight. I'm just fine on my own. Well, congratulations on being the strongest child to sneak your way into Beacon. Bravo. Lol. <laughs> the birds. Oh, a feather. Uh huh. Wonder what's coming our way. Did you hear that? Gunfire. It seems some of our comrades have encountered the enemy. <laughs> oh. John, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Just a scratch. Why didn't you activate your aura? Uh huh? Huh? Your aura. Gazuka. Aura. John. <laughs> do you know what aura is? <laughs> of course I do. Do you oh. know what aura is? <laughs> aura is the manifestation of our soul. It bears our burdens and shields our hearts. Have you ever felt like you were being watched without knowing that someone was there? Uh, yeah. I really like this character's design. <laughs> Ooh, 
With practice, our aura can be our shield. Everyone has it, even animals. What about monsters? No, the monsters we fight lack a soul. They are creatures of grim. The manifestation of anonymity. They are the darkness, and we are the light. Right. That's why we fight them. It's not about why. It's about knowing. Understanding both dark and light helps us manifest our aura. Everyone has some of both. I like the Chinese yin and yang reference here a lot. By bearing your soul outward as a force, you can deflect harm. All of our tools and equipment are conduits for aura. You project yourself and your soul when fighting. No. It's like a force field! Yes. No. If you want to look at it that way. <laughs> There's the aura. <laughs> Whoa. He really doesn't need those guns, eh? Concentrate. Uh okay. For it is in passing that we achieve immortality. Through this, we become a paragon of virtue and glory to rise above all, infinite in distance and unbound by death. I release your soul, and by my shoulder protect thee. Pira? It's all right. I used my aura to unlock yours, but the energy that protects you now is your own. Mm. You have a lot of it. Wow. Job well done. <laughs> no. I still don't think that's what a sloth sounds like. <laughs> Boop. Boop. Right. So like, we got to learn a lot about aura in this episode. And Liren's aura was purple, and his eyes are kind of purple. Does that have, like, some kind of connection? Maybe not, because Pira's was red and her eyes are green. Jean's are blue, but his... Whatever was surrounding him was white. So probably not exactly the same. But I loved Liren's fight, and I love how there's so many Chinese references around him, and how... He doesn't really totally need the guns. He's like got all that kung fu going on, which is amazing. Like it's great design overall. Speaks a lot to me because I spent a lot of time in China myself. So yeah, amazing stuff. Let's move on to chapter seven. Where are you? There we are. Here we go. We're gonna skip the intro. This one. Oopsie. Hey, Oz. Our last pair has been formed, sir. Nora Valkyrie and Lai Ren. Poor boy. I can't possibly imagine those two getting along. Still, he's probably better off than Miss Nikos. Mm -hmm. I don't care what his transcripts say. That Jean fellow is not ready for this level of combat. I guess uh. we'll find out soon enough. At their current pace, they should reach the temple within just a few minutes. Speaking of which, what did you use as relics this year? Professor Ospin. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's definitely this way. I mean, this way. It's definitely this way. Law. All right. It's official. We passed it. Why can't you just admit that you have no idea where we're going? Because I know exactly where we're going. We're going to the Forest Temple. Ugh. Oh, we do that? You don't know where we are either. Well, at least I'm not pretending like I know everything. What is that supposed to mean? See, it means you're a big, stupid jerk, and I hate you. <clears throat> just keep moving. Oh, just keep moving. Hurry up. <laughs> well, watch where you're going. Why are you so bossy? I'm not bossy. Don't say things.
things like that. You actually stop are. Stop treating me like a kid. Stop acting like a kid. Well, stop acting like you're perfect. I'm not perfect. Not yet. But ah. I'm still leagues better than you. Prove it. You don't even okay. know me. Fair. Think this is it? Hmm. Chess pieces. Chess pieces? Some of them are missing. Looks like we weren't the first ones here. Well, I guess we should pick one. Think this is it? Oh, everybody's in a different place. I'm huh? not sure this is it. <sighs> Pira, I made the torch. Can you <laughs> at least humor me for maybe five more feet? <laughs> Do you feel that soul crushing regret? No, it's Lol. warm. Hmm. How about a cute little pony? Sure. Night's pretty cool. That wasn't too hard. Well, it's not like this place is very difficult to find. One of the more interesting chess pieces is the knight. That's the relic! Yay! Is it? Oh no, it can't be. Hey! Huh? Bad relic. Ha! Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha! Jean? Some girls in trouble! Blake, did you hear that? Ha 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 Because he, he's screaming like a girl. Oh, frick. She... What happened there? <laughs> wow. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. All right. Definitely amazing stuff. Professor Oz seems definitely very, very suspicious at this point. What is he after? What does he want? And why has Jean been accepted into the school? Because Jean, so far, just seems completely clueless and probably doesn't know, doesn't have any real strengths or abilities. At least not yet, because I'm loving that direction. I really love characters who are like that, who are seemingly underpowered, but overcome challenges potentially with hard work. Like, for example, in Naruto, there was Rock Lee. Rock Lee is one of my favorite anime characters of all time plus his uh, sensei as well. So yeah, that that's just incredible direction over there. That's what I'm sensing at the very least that they're going with with John. So yeah, great episodes. Sorry, I can't really talk too much about it, I, I, but we have to, we got to see a lot of stuff and I'm really, really feeling it. Can't wait to watch episode eight. So yeah, that's going to be it for this reaction, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like because it helps the channel a lot. If you are enjoying my reactions and you want to watch more, you can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter as well where we can do some discussions if you're up for it. And I will catch you next time.